Now we'll look into the energy band in solids. You are able to see the solid atoms and it's an intermixed one. And this is how the space lattice of an atoms are. In the case of a single isolated atom, there are various discrete energy levels. In solids, the atoms are arranged in a systematic space lattice and each atom is influenced by neighboring atoms. The closeness of atoms result in the intermixing of electrons of neighboring atoms. This may go here. Due to this, the number of permissible energy level will start increasing. Hence, in case of a solid, instead of a single energy level associated with an atom, there will be bands of energy levels. A set of such closely packed energy levels is referred to as energy band. The bands of energy level are referred to the entire solid as a whole and not for the single atom. You are able to see the energy bond or energy band for the relative items. Based on the size, the energy bands are. Now let's talk about the energy bands in solid. The energy levels of a single isolated atom of silicon is depicted here. Each silicon atom is having 14 electrons. 1, 2, and we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 green, so 14 electrons. So 2 in the casial, the initial is called casial, and L will be having 8 electrons, 8 occupy the L shell, and 4 occupy the M shell. This is the structure of silicon. The electrons in the M shell 4 are distributed as 3s2, so 2 electrons in the subshell and 3p2, 2 electrons in the P shell, in 3p shell. This subshell 3p is partially filled, it can accommodate a total of 6 electrons. The completely filled levels are known as a core level and the electrons filling these levels are called the core electrons. The electrons in the outermost level they are called as valence electrons. Valence electrons are nothing but the electrons which is there in the outermost level. That is referred to as valence electron. The partially filled outermost level is valence level. And the permitted levels which are vacant are known as conduction band. So, this level will be taking care of conduction band. So, in a solid, there are large number of atoms which are very close to each other. Yes, obviously. The energy of yes and P level is of the order of electron volt. Therefore, the levels are very closely spaced. The first orbit electrons form a band called first energy band. Similarly, second orbit electrons form second energy band and third will be having third energy band. 